ask Tom on home show. Gonzalo from Spring Branch has a disposal distress. It's tripping, man. Ah. Okay. okay. Gonzalo writes, my disposal is on a dedicated circuit and it trips the breaker very often. I've checked it for leaks that may be causing the GFCI to trip, but I haven't seen any signs of one. Any idea, Tom, what could be causing him this problem? Yes. Whoever did the dedicated surface, sur, for, service, the dedicated line, did exactly what they were supposed to do, but it was never meant to be on a GFCI. You need to get rid of the GFCI and just put it on that line and have your breaker in the breaker box uh, uh, protect it because it's a motor load. It's going to trip that thing all the time as soon as it gets a little stressed when you put a load on there. It has nothing to do with leaks. It has nothing to do with the disposal. That GFCI is not supposed to be on a, a garbage disposal. So it, hopefully it's just a plug. And if you just remove the plug and put a regular uh, re uh, receptacle in there, then you're fine. But do not have it on a GFCI. But what if it's what if what he means is it's on an arc fault breaker, one of those? Could that be causing not the supposed same to be on it? there? It's a motor load. Okay. You don't so, put motor loads on those things. Most of the time, think about this: you look under your right. sink, and you'll have a plug under the sink, and you have your garbage disposal go to it, and you have your dishwasher go to it, and they're both separated, uh, and they both have dedicated lines, but there's a little metal tab on that dual plug, that dual receptacle that you break off. So it goes only to one and goes only to the other. So they're both uh, on dedicated 20 amp circuits, but it looks like it's only one plug. It should be only one circuit, but it's not, it's two. Uh, and that's what people get confused about. And it doesn't go under the rules of a GFCI. A GFCI is something which is within six feet of water, which would be your sink or a wet area, but that's for plugging appliances in and out. When it's down under the sink and it's not where people are going to use it regularly and, and you know, uh, they're doing dishes or whatever, then it doesn't come under those guidelines. And that's his problem. It's a GFCI. Mm. So maybe it was put in by somebody who was maybe not a true electrician or something. Yeah, I, I don't know why they would have done that. Yeah, a licensed electrician yeah. would know better. Um, I think so, yes. You want to know better? I'll tell you how. Mm. Go to homeshoradio.com. Click on that blue Ask Tom button, send in your question, and pretty soon you'll be wicked smart because Tom will answer your question. You can send us, a, fill out the form and send it. You can attach a picture. You can send a video. Pretty much anything your heart desires, and we'll help you out just like that. We post a new one every day, seven days a week, to our website, homeshowradio.com. We post them on our Facebook page, and we post them on our YouTube channel where you'll find hundreds of answers to other questions as well.